Hey everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects on how to deal with vertical footage. When I'm editing videos, sometimes I get footage from other sources from people who shoot video with their phones and it's just vertical and it's hard to know what to do with that footage. One way to somewhat make it look better is to do what they were doing when everyone transitioned from 4x3 TVs to 16x9 widescreen TVs, and that's taking the old boxed footage and actually duplicating it, putting it in the background, and blurring it to make it look a little better. And it'll end up looking something like this. Here's a quick shot that I took actually this morning of a little mug steaming mug of espresso that I made and so this is basically what I'm going to be teaching you how to do so you can see what it looks like it's a little bit better than if it was just like this you could also add like a white background to something like this maybe make it look better but vertical footage just typically isn't going to look good so what you want to do is well first add your video to your sequence so in Premiere Pro, this is what it would look like if you added vertical footage. Find the part in the video that you want to take. I'm just going to edit the end of this by, I did that really fast, I should just do it slower for you guys. So taking the end of this clip and dragging it in, play through it, and I'm just going to turn the audio off. And then when you're done with the clip, your vertical clip, and I'm zooming in, just by clicking and dragging here on the scroll bar down here on your timeline. Then what you can do is bring this clip up to the second layer and then holding option on your keyboard or alt if you're using a PC, click and drag the video clip down. So now you have two layers of the same video clip. You could also just copy and paste it and put it beneath it. And then with this bottom layer, what you want to do is go up to your effects controls window. If you don't see that, go up to window, effects controls, go to motion, then increase the size to where it fills the frame. Now, this doesn't really look that good at all. So what we want to do is go down to our effects bin, type in fast so you can get fast blur and add it to the bottom layer, not to the top layer, but to the bottom. And then in your effects controls, increase this to something like 15 or so, or even more. And then make sure that you click this repeat edge pixels so that the edge of this video doesn't look like it's faded into black. And now you can see how that looks. And it just looks a little bit better. Maybe if you can just increase the size of this a little bit bigger so it's not completely a little sliver in the middle of your video. So that's one way to make your video look better. And let me just show you how to do it in After Effects. So say you have your sequence, you add your vertical clip to your After Effects composition, just like we did in Premiere Pro. And again, this is just a normal 16 by nine sequence. So maybe 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, depending on what you, are, you want to use for your dimensions. Now when you have this layer, a quick way to duplicate it is just pressing Command D on your keyboard or if you're on a PC, Control D. Now again, take the bottom layer, press S to bring up scale and increase the scale until it fills the whole frame. Make sure you're looking at the whole video. Now in your effects and presets, again, look for fast blur. Drag it down onto your bottom clip. Bring that up to 30 click repeat edge pixels and you can see on the edge of this when I don't have repeat edge pixels it looks like it's fading into black and there you have it in Adobe After Effects so it's a quick fix if you are in a pinch and you want to use vertical footage it makes it look a little bit better and this comes from a question from Charles so if any of you have questions about any of this kind of stuff with video editing or After Effects, let me know and I'll create a quick tutorial 
about it. And then lastly, go over to videoschoolonline.com and click the courses page and you'll be taken to the entire course library that I have. You can see that there's lots of After Effects classes and video editing classes along with all sorts of other classes such as photography and building an online business. Even down below at the bottom of the course page, there's a lot of free classes that you can enroll in and take completely for free and they're high quality classes and you will learn a lot of the tips and tricks that I'm using right now to create my own videos. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in another tutorial.